Yeah, it's super exciting time in Qualcomm with all the innovations that are happening in the AI space. Edge AI is transforming and shifting how AI is being processed. It's being moved from the cloud and most of the AI processing is starting to happen on the edge itself. Orchestrating at the edge enables real-time decision-making, reduces latency, improves energy efficiency, and enhances data privacy and security. So what we will be covering today, we will be exploring some of the edge AI use cases from the industry. So we'll be talking about some IoT use cases, some automotive use cases, and also we will be dis we will be taking a you know taking you through a developer journey. When somebody is developing an edge AI, what what is their journey like, and what is Qualcomm? What are we helping in enabling some of that journey easier for our developers? Right. So we'll be taking you through that journey. So if you actually observe the world around you today. The edge AI is getting intelligent day by day, right? So for example, if you are uh, wearing your meta uh, glasses and uh, Ray-Ban glasses and you're looking at the world around you and you're saying, what is that I'm seeing? What is this monument I'm seeing? Tell me more about this monument or what is that tree I'm seeing? What is that flower? Give me more details about this flower. Interactions like this happen right at the edge these days or if you, are an, if you are a passenger in a car and you want um, the temperature to be adjusted and all you are doing is giving an instruction to the car and the car is automatically adjusting the temperature for you in the car. Whenever these kind of scenarios you encounter, what you are actually uh, seeing is the trend of running AI at the edge. These AI models that we run today, they are massive. The number of parameters, what, what they support today is incredible. And the number of modalities like vision, uh, text, speech, LIDAR, radar, temperature, I mean, the kind of modalities the AI models support these days are incredible. And Qualcomm is one of the leading performance per watt heterogeneous com computing platform that run on any type of edge devices you see in the market today. Be it mobile phones, be it IoT devices, or be it automotive uh, you know, devices, mobility platforms, and more. Qualcomm not only runs AI in consumer devices, uh, but we also support large scale industry IoT devices. For example, uh, Aramco, a large Middle Eastern um, you know, uh, company, we run advanced AI on their devices to support several different use cases like site safety, asset maintenance, and worker safety. For example, the top row, what you see is a user actually taking the device and actually using the phone from the device to actually point at an, at an issue and getting a support, contextual information is getting passed into the, into the device, and they are getting a contextual-based support from somebody sitting far away. Right, the next uh, door, next, next uh, uh, row, what you see is uh, site safety, right? I mean, there is a fire, and, and an inspection needs to be done sending a drone, and immediately somebody needs to be alerted. All those capabilities that run on the device actually runs on the uh, directly on the device uh, and integrated with the cloud. Worker safety: some uh, somebody is falling in the shop floor, an accident happens, immediately the device captures that and alert people as needed. There are several such use cases we enable for the IoT uh, industry use cases. So. Qualcomm is established uh, themselves as a leader, default platform for on-device AI. Be it IoT, automotive, uh, mobile phones, computing platforms, uh, uh, XR, uh, VR, default um, you know, on-device AI platform. Qualcomm has established leadership in that, in that space, right? So now let's shift the focus a little bit. Let's think about a developer journey. So if you are a developer who's developing edge AI capabilities, 
what is your journey like, right? So especially, let's let's take a scenario, like right? you are a Gen AI developer for in-cabin experience in a car, or if you are an XR developer, you know, working on, on, on your, uh, you know, glasses and applications and things like that. Suppose you want to fine tune your model on the device, on the very specific hardware that is running in the car. How do you do that? You can train in the cloud, I mean, in, in, but if you want to actually quantize and if you want to fine tune the model very specifically to the hardware that is running in the device, how do you do that? And especially for these uh, Qualcomm and the Snap, Snapdragon devices, how do you actually do that? Qualcomm realized this gap and we have enabled Qualcomm AI Hub where to simplify this process for the developer. Let's walk through a, 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 you know, what a developer use case would look like. As a developer, you will register onto our um, uh, Qualcomm AI Hub and then where you can uh, pick from many of the existing models or you can pick your own model and not only that, you can pick the platform or the device in which you want to actually fine tune these models and you can actually, if, if you don't find the models that are available on, on Qualcomm AI Hub, you can also actually bring your own model. So let's walk through that, uh, that developer journey, right? If you're a developer who's developing on these Qualcomm devices, you can pick a model, uh, you can come to Qualcomm AI Hub, you can pick a model, you can pick a target platform. If you are an IoT developer or an automotive developer, you can actually pick a platform. You can, you can pick a runtime. I mean, whether it is a uh, Qualcomm AI runtime or other runtimes, you can actually pick the Onyx or any of the runtimes. And you can actually test and validate to see if your models are performing great on those particular devices. And you'll be able to automatically deploy that in yourself. The interesting thing is you don't, it's not only you can bring your model, uh, you can not only bring, you can actually bring your own data. So you can actually, uh, you know, test these models and see how these models are performing, even bringing your own data fully integrated into the pipeline. In fact, it's so simple. I mean, if you, you should definitely come and see us in booth 137 where we are showcasing some demonstration on how easy it is to actually do, uh, you know, uh, on, on device development and actually in the cloud, but, uh, you know, uh, fine tune these models for on device. So let's take one level deeper, right? Um, how this, uh, you know, so you can actually, it starts, all right, show up. So the way it works is you can actually bring your own data, bring your own model, or pick and choose from your model library. And then you can pick a device. So it will give you options where you can pick a specific device in which you want to run, automotive or laptops or, or mobile devices, etc. You can also pick runtimes like LightRT, Qualcomm AI stack, Onyx runtime, etc. And then once you have done that, you can actually convert and optimize. So you can actually very specifically pick a device or procure a physical device. You'll be able to run the model on the device profile the model, fine tune the model, see the performance, and then download the optimized models directly onto your on-device AI, and you will be able to perform and develop these applications. The interesting fact is you can actually seamlessly integrate it with your CI CD pipeline, your automated development pipeline, and, and you can actually integrate this as part of your, your process. Qualcomm AI Hub is constantly expanding our overall ecosystem of model makers, AI frameworks, and service collaborators. So we support a large variety of ecosystem partners, and it's growing on a day-to-day -day basis. We have over 1,000 customers use Qualcomm AI Hub today, integrated into their development pipeline. So it's well-proven and tested. Recently, Qualcomm and AWS, we announced our partnership. If you are a developer who is used to actually developing your model or building your model using SageMaker, what you can do is actually you can actually build your model in SageMaker and then test your model in Qualcomm AI Hub. It's, it's seamlessly integrated, right? So you can actually build a model, 
train the model, and then you can quantize the model, uh, move to Qualcomm AI Hub, quantize the model, and, and fine tune the model, and you are able to deploy. So from the cloud development to the device deployment, the combination of SageMaker and Qualcomm AI Hub makes it very, very easy for a developer to actually develop. In fact, you can come to our booth and see a live demo of that, uh, that whole integration. So now you have understood the whole journey of a developer developing on Qualcomm AI, on, on device AI. Now let's delve a little bit more deeper into a very advanced use case from automotive industry. So let's say, um, you know, the contextual awareness is increasing day by day in, in advanced driving systems, etc. Like for example, your car not only need to understand what's the context happening around you, like for example, am I driving in a snowy condition? Am I driving in a rainy uh, condition? Or am I in a daytime, nighttime? Uh, is it a school zone, etc.? cetera? The, the kind of contextual awareness that the car is gathering from outside. But the way the technology is on device edge AI is improving is like the contextual awareness is also now coming internally. Like if, who's the drive? Who's the passenger running in the car? What is their preference of driving uh, style looks like? Do they want to do? Do they like sporty driving style, or do they want defensive driving style? Is there a, a, a baby in the back seat, or is the is the driver telling me something? Hey, drive, uh, you know, drive like this or drive like that. So even taking the contextual awareness from within the car integrating that into the driving behavior is something which you will start seeing in some of the advanced cars in the next three years, four years. These are not hypothetical use cases. These are the kind of use cases which we work with our customers on a day-to-day -day basis. The reason why I'm bringing up this use case is to show how advanced edge AI is in automotive industry, right? So what if you're a developer working on fine-tuning one such model, what would be your journey look like? What would be your data pipeline look like, right? So basically what you do is you actually take the model, generate the model and you deploy the model in a shadow mode, see what's happening and how the model is performing in the shadow mode, see how I can fine tune the model uh, compared to the how the car is uh, performing, take the model and start gleaning those edge cases which you are trying to tune. Let's say I'm, I'm actually improving the model for how the car is handling uh, you know, pedestrian crossing during a rainy condition, right? Uh, how do I glean all those different data points where I am coming across a situation like that? Collect, build a collective data set of people crossing the pedestrian walk during rainy condition. And then once I have all that data, take that data, take it to SageMaker, you actually train the model, fine tune the model, and then you actually um, uh, bring the model to Qualcomm AI Hub. Again, you very specifically to the device that is running in the car, fine tune that particular model and bring it back into the car. This is a very, very standard use case you will start seeing. In, in the near future. I mean, we are actively talking to automotive companies in advanced use cases like these. Let's look how a context-aware data-driven pipeline would look like. The, on the edge, the car is finding some edge cases or anomalies. The data actually from the car is integrated into the cloud. In the cloud, we use advanced AI technique to actually mine the data, scenario mining and uh, data enrichment, etc. Take that, we send it for automated annotation, smart data selection uh, pipeline, and from there, we actually send it to the deep learning pipeline. That's exactly where the call out to Qualcomm AI hub happens, quantizing for on-device happens. Bring it, bring it back to the, to the cloud and actually you do some bit accurate testing using some of our SOCs in the cloud and then you run advanced analytics and see how the models are performing, right? So it's actually pretty uh, advanced capability integrating in the, the developer uh, journey for an automotive use case is very, very uh, advanced. So what, what you see here is what Qualcomm makes, uh, provides you is not only the, the edge AI computing, but the entire 
tool chains that is required for making a developer journey go equal. And so this is just an automotive use case, right? Very similar to that, we have IoT pipelines, we have industrial uh, AI pipelines, XR AR platforms, which will enable the respective developers who are in that vertical to actually seamlessly develop and deploy capabilities in the edge. Qualcomm is your edge device platform with advanced tool chains specific to industry verticals and developer first framework in the cloud to develop and deploy edge AI. If you want to learn more, please uh, scan the QR code or come and talk to us in booth number 137. What we wanted to kind of give you a glimpse of different use cases that are happening in the industry and how Qualcomm is enabling such use cases for our customers. If you have any questions, myself and my colleagues, we are happy to take these questions. All right, thank you everyone.